his, his name's Moose, right? His nickname's Moose. So like social media and stuff, whenever he goes off like he did today, I want y'all tweeting up the Moose is loose. All right? We got a pet moose and everything. Little stuff we have. That's, that's what we say, so you guys need to be saying that too. You get like all of Ohio State saying that. All right, you guys can go. <laughs> <laughs> well, with that in mind, they, they cut it to two there late, and you guys answered like a 13-0 run. And I feel like watching this team the last couple of years, you guys might not have answered in that way before. Why were you guys able to answer the bell tonight, and what does that maybe say about what this team has uh, internally? Yeah, well, I mean, you learn from your mistakes, right? I mean, over the past couple of years, we've, we, we very may well have lost that game. Um, but, you know, with coaches just saying, you know, this is exactly what we want in the huddle. Um, you know, there's always going to be times of, of adversity, especially with a brand new team and a brand new staff like we have. And it's up to us to lock down and, and, and go through that adversity. Um, it's going to and it's going to get worse the rest of the year. Um, we got a lot more tough competition coming through. Um, but we got with games coming up, especially in the PK80 uh, next week. And uh, it was just a small little test for us, and we, and we passed it. And when you talk about adversity, not just on the court, but when when Caleb doesn't play, and obviously that's going to put a little bit more on your shoulders. How did that impact you tonight? Well, my teammates helped me out a lot, and Caleb actually helped out a lot too. I mean, even though he was out of the game, um, he was the loudest one on the bench. Him and Joey. Um, I mean, and that's and that's something that we got to be able to continue to do. Um, you know, it's it's next man up. If guys can't play, they got to be able to fulfill their role of, of of being loud on the bench. And Caleb did a great job with that today. Musa, uh, what was a, a greater moment for you, getting your first start or being the Twitter model for the new jersey you guys are going to wear next week? Ooh, that might be a tough one. I don't know. <laughs> Twitter or the Instagram picture was pretty cool, but uh, definitely the start because I've been working real hard in practice, and I'm just happy that Coach Holtman blessed me with the opportunity to play and start the game. You know, and I just played as hard as I could. When did you find out you were starting, and then like, did you approach it any differently once you didn't know you were going to start? Uh, I didn't find out till kind of like shoot around before one of the assistant coaches told me like you might be starting, and then. Probably at like five, one of the coaches was like, yeah, you definitely started. And so I didn't want to try to think about it too much, you know, just warm up like I used to and just get going. And you had, um, I know you had obviously had a scoring going in the first half and then you didn't score for a while, but you had two swats at the rim on some of those oops they were trying to really seem to ignite you guys uh, defensively. I, I guess what I'm asking is the importance of, of when you're not scoring, finding ways that impact the game in, in other ways. You seem to do that tonight, and is that something you think you can bring for this team moving forward? Yeah, that's a, that's exactly what I'm going to do. That's going to be my MO. You know, I'm not out here to get 30 a night. And uh, I mean, that would be great if that happened, but I'm just out there to play defense and just bring the energy for the team. 